Hello everybody and welcome back to another Gaming Abroad. My name is Jens and we're back at it again talking about 3DS games uh, and actually today we're gonna focus on adjusting this uh, collection here. Uh, I got the games uh, all over the place so I thought maybe today I can go ahead and alphabetize the games and just kind of let you know uh, where we are at on the collection and you can see some of the titles uh, that we have collected already. I mean, there's still a lot more. I think I'm somewhere close to 140 games. So, uh, I mean, there's like 430 maybe games, or plus games. Uh, so we got a long way to go, but I thought I would just maybe kind of update this here since the games are all over the place uh, and I want it to be more organized. So uh, today's uh, unofficial sponsor uh, drink for this video is in the Donkey Kong mug, uh, Peach Cola. Pretty good. Stay hydrated, guys. This is uh, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, and it's uh, peach flavored. It's as good as it sounds. It's actually pretty sweet, and I like it. I like it better than the vanilla one that they have, and some other weird flavor. But enough about our unofficial sponsor. Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, looking at the collection, guys. Uh, again, we have tons of uh, games. Uh, we picked up some really good games over the last um, what uh, eight months, almost nine months now. I started uh, working on this collection uh, at the, maybe at the end of January when I got this idea to collect the 3DS. During that time, I didn't have uh, any uh, games at all. I didn't have any systems, and I thought, well, this would be a really cool thing to do because uh, nobody's doing it at this time. I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and build a uh, 3DS collection. This was January, and like I mentioned before, uh, Nintendo drops that announcement in February, and they're like, hey, uh, we're going to go ahead and shut down the 3DS uh, uh, eShop and the Wii U eShop. So uh, get those digital games now if you want them. Uh, if not, the only way you're going to be able to get some of these games is buying the physical copies. So then this was like perfect timing for me to kind of build the collections. So definitely guys, we got some really amazing games. And let's go ahead and take a look at uh, <clears throat> a little bit of video of the uh, collection. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get working on uh, organizing this collection a little better and I'll just go ahead and play some b-roll on there for you guys while as I'm working on this uh, I think it's gonna be really cool hopefully I can uh, make it look uh, pretty good and make it easier to find titles especially when I'm trying to buy a title and I'm like do I already have that one and I gotta go through every one of them because they're not in the alphabetical order and this is how I ended up with some extra copies of cooking mama but let's go ahead and get started in fixing this collection so roll the tape As you can see guys, there's my 3DS collection. What? Well, there was my 3DS collection, but what I wanted to talk about really quick is this was my collection in January, guys, of this year. Exactly what you see here. Nothing. <laughs> I didn't have a 3DS, I didn't have any games. Um, it was during January when I said, you know what, I want to get a 3DS. Uh, there's some games that friends were recommending on there and I was like, you know what, I think getting a 3DS and some of those RPGs that I missed would be a good idea. Uh, so I decided to start buying a 3DS, some games, and um, just slowly I started to come up with the idea, hey, let me collect a bunch of 3DS games because I don't see a lot of people doing it. I saw a lot of other YouTubers doing like GameCube collections, Wii U, Nintendo GameCube, and other ones. And I said, you know what, it'd be fun to kind of collect all the 3DS games. And that's when I kind of thought about the idea about flipping to build my collection. And uh, since I'm here in, in Shanghai in China, I've been really lucky to find some amazing games and add them to the collection. And I'm really happy that actually my whole collection is growing. I have a lot more things now, some really cool systems and things like that. But I uh, just wanted to uh, kind of just show you that I went from this to uh, this. As you can see guys, everything has been uh, alphabetized from A to Z. Uh, shelf one and then shelf two down here. I did bring out some of the 3DS systems that I'm gonna keep like the uh, Metroid one, the Samus Metroid. We have the new uh, Nintendo 3DS uh, Black Friday edition, uh, the Hyrulean Shield uh, 3DS and then uh, one other Nintendo DS Lite here. So these I will keep for the collection and as I mentioned before uh, in January I had nothing. These uh, shelves were empty. 
Uh, and now, uh, eight months, uh, almost nine months later, I got a really good 3DS collection going, about 100 and close to 140 games. So not too bad, guys. Uh, we got quite a few games. We got a long way to go to build the ultimate 3DS collection, but we're going to slowly keep going and eventually uh, we'll get there with, uh, you know, maybe some of the really hard uh, to find games being our <laughs> biggest uh, challenge. But anyways, guys, let's go to Gents on the Desk and then see how it looks from the desk. As you can see, guys, uh, there's more focus now on the 3DS collection. All games have been alphabetized to the best of my ability uh, and they're a lot uh, easier to go through so if I need to purchase a game or uh, if I'm looking at games I can just run to the living room and be like do I have this game or not and then uh, I can go ahead and purchase it or if I'm gonna play one I can just easily find them so uh, I've been wanting to do that for a couple of weeks I finally got the chance to do it and what I did is I created a space between both of the shelves uh, to display some of the 3DS's that I'm gonna keep for my collection uh, and some of them like the uh, Samus 3DS, uh, new Nintendo 3DS I'm keeping. That was the uh, first 3DS system that I got this year uh, when I decided to build my collection. So that one's special, got it at an amazing price. Uh, the Nintendo uh, Hyrulean Shield one is really cool. So uh, keeping that one, uh, keeping that Black Nintendo, uh, Black Friday uh, Nintendo 3DS system because I got it such a great deal and uh, that one Pokemon DS Lite system also because uh, I got it for a great deal and I just want to have maybe a one of each of the systems from each of the generations. So this might be something that I'll be doing, uh, just adding a system there. But um, I think there's more focus on the 3DS now uh, because this is what we are uh, building. We're working on that 3DS collection, but we're also collecting a bunch of other amazing stuff because in Shenyu you find all kinds of cool stuff for amazing uh, prices. So uh, we're just adding and adding to our collection. So guys, uh, I just want to say thank you for uh, joining the channel, subscribing, liking, commenting. Thank you. I think we're building a small little community of people that like to talk. And uh, we're all building this 3DS collection. Um, some, uh, some of you have told me, you know, you're slowly starting. And that's great. I mean, start little by little, guys. Uh, find those deals at pawn shops, thrift shops, Goodwills, uh, swap meets, uh, trade, wherever you can. And just start slow, guys. Build that 3DS collection. Um, it's gonna take time, it really is. Even for me, it's gonna take time. Um, I'm lucky that I'm at a place where I can just open an app and then just go through it every day and then try to find great deals. Uh, you just gotta find uh, a market in the area that you're at and try to hopefully, again, it's all about luck and beating other people who are also trying to collect or flip or whatever it is that they're doing. So anyways, guys, I just wanna tell you, thank you for joining me on the adventure. Until next time, guys, stay safe and I'll see you again.